Ever thought about whether you lucked out being born now? Maybe feeling bummed about all the capitalism and competition? Well, cheer up. Remember, there were folks in the past who had it way worse than us. Scientists and historians claim that 536 AD stands out as one of the worst years in history. While other years have had their challenges, none have had such a long-lasting negative impact. So congratulations, year 536, you've won the prize. Hello guys and welcome. If you would like to hear more historical gossip, then just click on that subscribe button. Now, let's start today's video. Viewer discretion is advised. This is an educational documentary. In the historical chronicle, the year 536 is renowned for its peculiar environmental phenomena. Reports indicate a significant dimming of the sun's light, akin to an eclipse lasting for an extended period. This darkness is attributed to a massive volcanic eruption which blanketed the atmosphere with ash, obscuring sunlight globally. The resulting climatic disruptions had profound implications for agriculture and viticulture, plunging communities into a prolonged period of hardship and uncertainty. Indeed, living in such an era would have presented immense challenges, with diminished sunlight impacting daily life in myriad ways, from crop failures to disrupted ecosystems. Thus, 536 stands as a testament to the resilience of human civilization in the face of environmental adversity. Basic biology teaches us that plants need the sun to aid in their growth and survival, so not having direct sunlight for the duration of at least a year did a real number on the crop output around the world and sparked a widespread famine around the globe. And it's not just that the plants wanted to catch their rays, it was just too darn chilly for crops to grow. With the sun cloaked in an endless cloud, the temperature of the earth dropped between 1.6 and 2.5 degrees Celsius, or 34.88 to 37 degrees Fahrenheit, for all the Americans thinking that doesn't sound so bad. But it also cooled temperatures for decades to come. Crop scarcities were reported far and wide around this time period, including Ireland, who suffered through their own horrible-sounding food depletion they called bread failure. In the dark days of 536, life got even harder with plagues lurking around. No one was safe from these diseases, not even the royals in their palaces. This particular plague started small, with a sore on the hand, but soon turned deadly, leaving people unable to move as their bodies swelled and burst with pus-filled bubo. If this happened today, it would probably be a hit TV show. In Constantinople, things got even worse, as the city filled with the stench of death. Bodies piled up, thrown into the sea without much thought. Bring out your dead was the grim call of the day. Emperor Justinian tried to clean up the mess by ordering bodies to be removed, but it only made things worse. The disease spread as healthy people handled the sick. But hey, at least Justinian got a plague named after him, right? Not much comfort for the 50 million people who died, though. Around 536, China experienced some seriously bizarre weather. Imagine dust raining down from the sky that you could scoop up with your hands, totally not normal, right? This yellowish stuff called hue or dust baffled everyone. Whether it was volcanic ash or just some weird weather, nobody knows for sure, but that was just the beginning. Southern Dynasty records tell tales of freak weather events, like frost in summer and snowfall in August. Can you imagine? Crops didn't stand a chance, leading to a brutal famine that hit places like Zinzhou hard. It lasted two years and wiped out a shocking 70 to 80 percent of the population. Living through all that must have been incredibly difficult. Evidence from ice cores in Iceland and Greenland indicates a major volcanic eruption around 536. 
subsequent eruptions in Iceland and possibly North America further darkened the skies, leading to what's been called the Late Antique Little Ice Age. This cooling period lasted for about a decade, devastating crops and causing famine. With weakened populations, diseases spread more easily, compounding the crisis. Amidst all this chaos, at least one thing had a blast, those exploding volcanoes. Meanwhile, as the 6th century kicked in, the Romans had shifted to Constantinople, aiming to revive their former glory under Emperor Justinian's rule. It was like a grad still hanging out on campus in their letterman jacket, trying to relive the glory days. But despite some wins by generals like Belisarius against Goths and Vandals, Justinian struggled with constant uprisings and instability, which kept him from matching past successes. Then came the nightmare of 536, hitting everyone hard. Even the Moshi civilization in Peru, known for their fishing skills and smart irrigation, took a hit. A super strong El Nino messed up their fishing grounds and wrecked their irrigation, leaving them struggling to feed themselves. It was a tough time all around. In the quest to find the toughest time in history, there's a silver lining. Despite the darkness of 536, Harvard researchers found a glimmer of hope. They spotted a rise in silver production for coins, a sign of a thriving economy. It goes to show, even in tough times, things can turn around. So, would you hop in a time machine for the ultimate survival challenge? Let me know in the comments below.